In this video, we'll learn how you can disable specific dates in the ASPX calendar and ASPX date edit controls. I'll start with the basic one page application created with the DevExpress ASP.NET project template. In the page, I've placed the ASPX calendar and ASPX date edit controls. For the calendar, I've enabled the multi selection feature. Let's take a look at the page in the browser. Within the calendar, I can select multiple and single dates. Within the date edit, I can select any date. Let's disable the selection of Wednesdays within both the calendar and date edit controls. You can disable date selection using client and server side events or by specifying a collection of date time objects. Let's disable dates in the calendar using the server side custom disable date event. In the event handler, I insert the code that disables Wednesdays. When only the server side event is handled, a control changes months and years via callbacks. So let's pause callback processing on the server side so that we can make the loading panel visible. In the date edit, I'd like to disable dates using the client side calendar custom disable date event. In the event handler, I insert the code that disables Wednesdays as well. When only the client side event is handled, the control operates on the client side. If both events are handled for a control, it changes months and years on the client side. However, for the control to work accurately, you should implement equal logic both on the client and server side. Now let's take a look at the result in the browser. In the calendar, you can see that the Wednesday column is marked in a gray color. This means that I can't select any dates on Wednesday. When selecting a range of dates, Wednesdays are skipped as well. When I navigate through months and years, a loading panel is displayed while the control is waiting for a callback response. In the date editor, Wednesdays are also marked in a gray color and I cannot select any dates that occur on a Wednesday. The custom disable date event helps you to disable the selection of dates when they can be defined by custom rules. For example, let's disable some random dates. To do this, I populate the disabled dates collections of the controls with the values of the date time type. In my code, I have a list of dates that should be disabled. I add the list to the disabled dates collection of calendar and date edit controls. And let's take a look at the result in the browser. Now you can see that the dates from the disabled dates collection can't be selected in both the calendar and date edit controls. When selecting a range of dates, all of the disabled dates are skipped. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.